Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today, let's see if we can get the fairings mounted to the wing struts. Where we are going to be getting started today, we're going to start today on the wing struts first. Then we're going to move to the cabane struts and hopefully by the end of the day, I'm hoping, we can get to the landing gear. Uh, the landing gear should be the easiest and even though I should start with the landing gear, it's not the way I work. So we're going to get started with the end struts and the end struts to me are going to be relatively easy. You'll see the little jig I've already got set up uh, to make sure that when everything gets glued in place it's going to work nicely. I'm going to try to do something I haven't done before and I'll kind of fill you guys in as, as we get ready to roll. Now the reason why I'm a little bit overdressed for the shop today, it's cold in the shop today. Winter, uh, she decided to rear her ugly head last night. Woke up this morning, when I came and opened up the shop it was minus 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's not the end of the world. This is something that happens. I mean, we're in Chicago. Chicago is normally not as bad. I mean, I got friends up uh, in north of Minneapolis that, uh, yeah, they get hammered. And when they get hammered, they get hammered hard. So like I said, we're down in Chicago. It's just the weather swings. I think tomorrow it's supposed to be up in the 20s, uh, so, which means, excuse me, it's going to get very windy later on today, which is not going to be a good time to be outside. So let me go ahead and get the workbench set up and then I'll readjust the camera so that you're going to have a better angle of viewing as I try to walk you through what I'm going to try to do. It's going to be fun. The jig of the day. Here's what we're working on. This piece here is of course it's just got some masking tape on the bottom and it's glued on top of masking tape. Uh, this is going to be our fixture for doing what I'm going to try to do. I think it's going to work and we're going to find out real quickly here. All right, what I did is I've got a piece of eighth inch uh, thick balsa strip just because this is what we're going to be putting on the the cabane struts as well as the interplane struts, but the interplane struts are a little bit wider than this, but this is just a test. It's only a test. So what this is going to do is this piece is going to sit down inside here and we do have a stop on one end right down there. Now what we're going to do from this point is this is why I've got a piece of Lexan, excuse me, Luon, different type of material entirely. And this will just come over the top of this and slightly overhang. And then we're going to put a weight on the top of it. So there's, so what we've done is, let me see if I can show you a little bit better this way and put you back in the position. We're leaving a little bit of an overhang on the top and this is going to be captured down on the inside. So this is going to be locked in by the stop down here at the end. Now then, what we're going to do, let's make sure you're lined up properly again, there we go, is if I could find it, and that's assuming I could find it, I got a piece of eighth inch rod. This side over here, when I cut it off, I ground it flat. It's got a burr edge on it. This side over here, let me see if I can get the focus on my hand a little bit better. Hopefully it's going to work out pretty good there. This is rounded over. And what we're going to do is we're going to come on over here. We're going to push it up against the side such as this. And because it's eighth inch on eighth inch balsa, we have this piece down here sitting eighth inch. Let me get it weighed down better here. So this is compressing the balsa down. So it can't slide out and it can't slide this way. So what I'm gonna do, and we're testing, I'm hoping it's gonna work. We're gonna come in with the burr edge first. And that's the sharpest edge on the burr. We're gonna push it in here relatively firmly and then push it down. It's not as far in as I want to go, so this is going to have to be done a couple times. And it was first failure. I went underneath it, pushed in too hard. I'm going to need a heavier weight because I just lifted it. Mm. 
see how well I could do because I'll, I don't have a problem showing my errors. That's why I'm doing it this way. I'm going to have to throw more weight down on top of this. If I can get it to a point where I can show one good end, we're going to do it. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and round it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to clamp this down better. Alright, so here's our test piece. That's going to work out pretty good. I'm just going to have to figure out how far I want to go in deep with this. Alright, so what we ended up doing, if I can get it in focus, you're going to see how we've got it where it's cupped. And when this piece goes on the eighth inch, and it's going to wrap around it so that way we have a better fitment to it. So when we go ahead and epoxy that in place, it's going to sit flush to the sides. So in my madness on how we did this, I just rushed it. So what I'm going to do is I'll come in, modify this piece so I can get more weight up here because I've got some more, I've got some more steel around here somewhere to make sure that this is set down pretty flush because as you can see, the piece of Luan I'm using has got a bow to it and it's really not what I want, but it's the only thing I had. So I'll go ahead and make sure when this is set up again, it's going to have proper weight because I don't have clamps that can reach this far in. So I may just go ahead, I'll figure this one out. I'll figure out for weight and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, I made a slight change in plans. I slid this this way because I had to get better clamping pressure on the end. And then I'm taking the vise and just stacking it vertical right there. I've already run across this. You can see the dust that's on the tip. So there's the burr edge, there's the smooth edge. Uh, I, what I did was I came in, came this way about two thirds of the way, this way about two thirds of the way. I did that a couple times, came by, just finished it off with one swipe in each direction. Let's see what it looks like. Much, much better. Once again, because uh, you're not here looking at it, you can't see it, but it actually does have a very, here's the hacked side. This is the opposite side, and it does have a very nice cup on it. And it's full length, so let's see how well you can see this. And I'm hoping you get a good view of that, and it's focused. Let me get in front of it to see if, there, see if I can keep it tighter. So it is, it is actually a very good fit inside there. So that's what we're going with. We're going to go ahead and do this because this opposite side will get rounded out, <clears throat> excuse me, after it gets put on the, uh, the end struts. Not glued in, but everything's sitting in there pretty. And as you can see, if I can get this so that you have a really good view of it, let's just kind of go with the center section because I had to go ahead and hollow out the, the outside, the inside, the rear side, we'll call it, and the forward side up here so that it fits nicely up inside that chamfer or the V. So you can see how tight it is there and it's going to come all the way down. So when it gets glued into place, this will be tightened up just like that. So it's going to be very good looking and uh, yeah, it's going to glue on a lot nicer because you've got much more purchase. Let's see if I can get this thing at an angle where you can kind of see, hopefully right about in there. I'm hoping you can get a good view at the angle of that because it's gonna glue in nicely. So this side is done. I'm gonna put it off to the side because I'm gonna have to prep the steel uh, before I go ahead and glue these things into position. So I'll go ahead and get the other side set up. And then from there, we are going to start trying to figure out how we're gonna do the cabanes that's going to be the interesting part uh yeah it's the same size wire eighth inch so we're going to be using the same setup we're using down here we're just going to have to kind of figure out how we're going to cut up the strips because the strips are these right here you know they say that it comes with three strips the original builder uh on the strips i had to piece some together i had one of these which is the uh, oh my gosh three eighths by eighth inch by 30 inches long so I had to cut and luckily I've got some scrap some scrap I've got some good stock still over there in my little pile of junk um, that I was able to go ahead and trim up 
So that piece was, wasn't was there. And the other piece that they did not have was the 3 16 by 3 8 by 30. That was not in there as well as one of these, which was the half inch by eighth inch by 30. So, but luckily, like I said, I've got enough plank material over there. I was able to just go ahead and rip another one out. Got two of them ready to glue together. Like I said, there's gonna be prep on the metal. I've gotta clean it up, I'm gonna scuff it, and then it'll be five minute epoxy. I'm guessing we'll figure that out when it comes. Uh, and then the little kind of sort of board I've got it set up to, you probably, I had it sitting on top of it when I took the, uh, showed you what it looked like with the pieces kind of, just at least in the right position. Um, this is what we're gonna glue them up on. So, but until we're ready to start gluing up, these will get hung up right over here until we get everything else ready to glue up as well. All right, the little fairings are all done and ready to glue into position. That's for the rear cabane struts. That's for the front cabane struts. All six of them already cut. I just, I gotta just pretty much dress up the ends before they get glued in. And for the uh, landing gear struts, the landing gear struts, the landing gear. Those things up there on the wall. And these are gonna go down in here, they have to be cut to fit. And then I've gotta take this all apart to figure out exactly how these things are gonna get glued into place. Cause I don't think there's a single picture of it. So I'm just gonna figure it out. I think that one picture showed it going down inside. It showed it going down inside here, which is of course, that's the way it's gonna go down. Uh, I just have to figure out how these are set up. I think they're gonna come in and meet in the center soon as I know it, you guys will know it. And right now it's time to go upstairs. It's coming up on five o'clock and, uh, and I got to get this place all buttoned up and then get everything, the fuselage, the wings, everything back on this side and locked down tight. So I'll see you guys back down here in f Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four more days. Mm -hmm. 